One of my favorite plants this time of year is Rosa Sharon. Very similar to uh, crepe myrtle and oleander uh, in shape. The reason being that they can be trimmed as a tree or as a shrub. In this case, we're looking at the shrub. And you'll notice all the buds on these plants. The reason being two years ago, this hedge which surrounds the gazebo at the Rose Garden was cut back to maybe four feet from the ground. Myrtle can be cut to the first two or three years to about a foot from the ground. But this is the result of good pruning. Here you see an abundant amount of, in this particular plant, double flowered. Now Rosa Sharon comes in pink, purple, a blue, white, and there is a multitude of crosses now that uh, include white on white, that is a white throat with a white cup. Here we see a little uh, diversion here in the hedge, Dutchman's pipe. Now originally, here we see a good cross look of the uh, gazebo. Originally the rose garden extended much further back in the 19, late 1930s, early 40s. It was almost an acre. And um, they were uh, smart enough, I think, to add the Rose of Sharon. It's not a rose, of course, it's a hibiscus. And of course, we have many types of hibiscus. And the Rose of Sharon is hardy from Zone 5 South. It's a great plant, blooms late summer. And for that reason, I think, uh, at, as I said, at this time of the year, it's one of my favorites. Of course, I have so many favorites. They have single flowers as well as double flowers. We're looking at double flowers, you see, up close on these particular plants in the hedge. And as I said, the hedge goes completely around uh, the rose garden with a few other plants as well. Now the single flower red with uh, with the red throat that is uh, is called Monstera and originally we had uh, just four different uh, roses here, but now we have so many uh, because of the hybridizing that they've been doing. Uh, Kim, little Kim, for instance, is white throat as well as a white petal, and here we see the um, white with the rose center and a single flower. This is the Monstera, it's called. Um, we have, in addition to the uh, hedge, of course, you see some other evergreen plants here that surround. Now this um, is a direct relative of the tropical hibiscus, is a double, and the tropical hibiscus is called the Rose of China. And of course that'll bloom every day in the tropics. And that's why many people like to use that as a houseplant, but I don't recommend using the Rosa Sharon as a houseplant, of course. And um, again, there's a rose mallow that's about eight or 10 inches. This is not one of them. It's got too many buds for a rose mallow. Uh, and of course, Here's a great place to just sit down and take in all, everything that I said. This is at Roger Williams Park, by the way, in Providence, Rhode Island. 